This, I got at the grocery store in the produce area. They have, you know, I cut up melons and stuff. But they had this drink in plastic cups that you could buy. And this has hibiscus in it. And, uh, what's the other thing? Not guava. Agave nectar, which is a sweetener. It's mostly hibiscus. And I like hibiscus. That's a big deal around here with the Mexican heritage people. <clears throat> which I like hibiscus. So I bought it and it's very, very strong. So I have it diluted. Yeah, the other rest of it's in the fridge for later. I <clears throat> keep this file. Uh, what's happening? Birthdays, anniversaries, etc. And I got a list of everything on here. And month by month cards. So, I have gone to the store this morning, and I bought a whole bunch of a slew of cards. And I got my address book and uh, customs forms and extra stamps. I'll need to get some more stamps. Then a bunch of birthday cards, and I thought it would be funny to show you some of them. Happy birthday. I ain't lying. Get it? I'm a lion and I said lion. It's a joke. Ha 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 ha. Laugh or I'll bite your butt. <laughs> Aw, isn't that cute? Hope your birthday is simply marvelous. They're marbles. <laughs> yeah. And then there's this one. Heard it was your big day. Hope it's marvelous. Just thought you'd like a little corny beef on your birthday. And this one I like a lot. <laughs> Happy birthday from the bottom of my butt. It's a lot bigger than my heart. <laughs> I've not been feeling well. I think the depression smacking me in the head a few times really made me sick to my stomach. I'm not hungry at all. I think uh, with a little bit of leftover broccoli from yesterday, I'm going to make a baked potato and I'm gonna smash it up like mashed potato, make it a little liquidy like potato soup, put the broccoli in there. Maybe that's what I'll have for supper. But I'm not even hungry for that. I'm just not feeling it at all. Uh, all morning, I was sleeping. Either in this chair or in the bed. It was like I didn't want to participate with the world today at all. Not at all. And it just felt crappy. And the kitty cat was not next to me. He was under the bed or somewhere. And I really could have used petting him and stuff last night, but he was just not there. So I was wallowing in self-pity and and uh, thinking about stuff and then your mind goes off into a deep, deep rabbit hole and you start thinking about your life and of course you think of all the things you fucked up. You don't think of what would have happened or if I had had a positive attitude or I can make things better or whatever. You just think about how miserable you are and how sick you feel. I know I have clinical depression. I know that. I have not had medicine for it for a long time. I miss talking to the shrink that I used to talk to every month. I haven't talked to him for like five years. I really, really miss talking to that guy. He and I were about the same age. We grew up in the same area of the country. We did the same kind of childhood things. So he can relate to me and he can understand the kind of generational stuff that our parents passed on to us. Each generation has its own thing. and Doctors tell you ways to treat, to raise your kids and all. It changes a little. It changes a little. 
from generation to generation. I mean, back in the late 50s and early 60s, parents, for young children, parents used to pre-chew their food for them. I know you heard some some actress somewhere does that for her kids, and people were going, oh, oh, but that was a normal thing. Yuck, right? I wouldn't do that. I might blend it up or something. I'm not going to pre-chew it for my kids. Are you kidding? Ugh. I'm not a bird. <laughs> I used to be as skinny as a bird. And I always just felt crappy. And I would fall asleep in the chair here or in the bed. And I just didn't want to participate. It's like 103 degrees outside. Which is like 39.44 Celsius. It's just... You step outside and you feel like you stepped into an oven. It's a lot hotter than your own body temperature. And it's uncomfortable. So I went up to check the mail the mailbox. I'm expecting a couple things today. It said that it should be delivered today. So maybe they'll deliver it to the door and not stuff it in the mailbox. Or maybe it won't come. One's going to be very interesting if it works. I have ordered some glasses that you wear that has a built-in camera so that I can take a walk or, you know, if I'm going through the store, I can be filming and people won't really know it. I won't be holding the camera out in front of me. Or, you know, as I'm driving or something, which is a lot safer than trying to hold the camera and aim it to the mountains and, <laughs> yeah. So that ought to be interesting. And the other thing is um, a mind toy for myself. There's two things. I was thinking of giving one to Spencer, but I don't know. He might ruin it because he, he's so rough on everything. He can always look at it over here at Nana's house. One is like um, an hourglass sort of thing with liquid in it. Two different colors of liquid. And you turn it upside down and it drips different colors and they go back and forth till they get to the bottom and then you turn it upside down again. It's supposed to be very ple pleasant look to look at. Another thing is very much like that except with tiny, 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 tiny sand. Two different colors of sand that you turn it over and it f goes through little tiny holes and it forms different mountain range looking things. I hope that is pleasant. <sighs> There's nothing that I really, really need. I need to feel better, and I need to have a better outlook, and I need not to get myself into trouble. But I had trouble with somebody in that theater group. And apparently everybody kind of to this person. So when they found out that I had trouble with their they immediately think to, about me that I must be the problem. No. No, I brought common sense and logic into the mix. They don't like that. They've been doing things their way for a long, long time, and they're not going to change. It's like, fine. I don't want to deal with you anymore. Just don't, don't fuck me over. Just, we both learned, okay? Maybe you learned to communicate better. I doubt it. You expect everybody to know what your plan is, and I didn't. So I hope not to stew on the subject, but that's the major part that started my downhill depression thing. Ooh, I'm at level two depression. Level one depression is uh, where I eat everything in sight. I eat to try to get rid of my ang sorrow and, and angst and stuff. Level two is when I don't eat anything and I lay in bed all day. Ooh, I'm at level two. Depcon, depression con. That's not good. If it gets any lower than this, then bad things start happening. Uh, Self-harm ideas and worse. So I'm going to try to plow through this the best I can. 
this hibiscus tea thing is really I'm glad I got it it's it is helping whether I eat anything or not I hear the little baby crying over there it's so hot you can't take them outside play not not even on the patio that's covered it's just too hot poor things the dad's gonna go nuts he says having to watch both of them it drives him crazy <laughs> It's like, and then Ashley gave him a look. Like, really? Oh, this is Monday, isn't it? Yesterday was Ashley's birthday. And, uh, <laughs> Spencer said, how old are you, Mom? And she said, well, guess. And he's, I said, think of a big number. And he goes, 40. <laughs> no. The look on her face. Oh, my God. It just... I think I've pretty much assimilated to being part of this whole family unit. I'm glad about that. And I'm still going to try not to be a pain in the ass. It's really hard. If if you were born or developed into being a pain in the ass and you are in a different situation where you're not supposed to be a pain in the ass, I don't know. I, you know, you don't really see the forest for the trees. That's why I ask people sometimes, what kind of person am I to be around? What kind? Of, I asked my theater peeps back in St. Louis who I've known for years and years and years. Am I that bad? You know, what is wrong with me? Or, you know, whatever. And they all said, no, I'm fine to work with. That I give it my all and there's no problem. So... That made me feel better. And I know who gilds a lily and who doesn't. You know, who's going to tell the truth. But they know me. I'm pretty blunt. And if I don't think it was a good performance, I just don't say anything. If I think someone deserves merit, I, I say so. I don't shoot the shit, gild the lily, whatever you want to call it. I don't, I don't do that. I am honest and to the point, and a lot of people can't take that. Yeah, I'm worried about the future. How much future do I have? At, at one time, I thought, well, I'm going to live to be about 83 or 84. And it, that's what, like, was came to my mind. So I thought, okay, I can deal with that. But then, lately, I just haven't felt like anything. So maybe I'm not going to live to 83 or 84. I'm 67. That's an awful number. When you start thinking numbers and stuff, it's like, ugh. But if you'll see if you get older. You look at yourself in the mirror and you'll go, I don't feel like I look like that. I feel differently than I look. Yeah, I can't run up and down the stairs like I used to. But I'm still me. I'm just having an off day. That's why I can't run up and down the stairs like I used to. Yeah, all right. That's kind of fooling yourself, but I mean, there's days that you have good days and bad days, and I used to hear about that when I was a kid. We'd go visit. Oh, I can't go visit Aunt Mary today because she's not having a very good day. And I never understood that. I do now. <laughs> I am trying to shake off the doldrums. I still have a really bad headache up here. There's a religion that says there's a window up here in your head. And you open the window to receive God through it. Oh my God, window's hurting. That's what I call it. Anyone that's seen my comment on Facebook, I say my God, window is hurting. That's I had. I've had that since junior high, where all of a sudden it hurts, and I get, I just don't feel right. They've had a picture. They've taken a picture of my head for some study I was gonna do, and they didn't see anything, no tumors or anything. So I don't know what it is. Maybe it's all chemical. 
I'm sorry. I don't mean to blither on, but shopping for those cards was fun. And uh, it was bloody hot outside. I got some popsicles while I was out and about. I might be able to have one of those. But I'm just not hungry. I'm a Depcon 2. Yeah. I'm in pretty good mood for being a Depcon 2. Unless I'm just getting used to being depressed. <laughs> Maybe the worst is over. One can only hope. Without hope, there is nothing. Yeah. Well. Tomorrow's Tuesday. And tomorrow, I think, hopefully I'll feel better and I'll feel hungry. Because I have some food in the fridge to fix up into dishes for the rest of the week. And I don't want it to go bad. Because that's wasteful. Wasteful money and wasteful food. I had vowed to myself when I moved from Missouri to here and I had smaller digs and everything that I was not going to let things, I was not going to have, be one of those people that had things in the fridge where you didn't know what they were. I label things, I date the, on the label and I've only had a couple, throw a couple things away about a month ago like strawberries that went over. but. I'm on top of it. It's not easy. <laughs> but now that I'm just in this slump, you know, people throw rocks at me. I'll just have to pile them up to get out of the slump. Yeah. Take care of yourselves. Stay cool if you're in this nasty, stinking hot climate. Stay cool in temperament. Take care of yourself. You know I love you and I appreciate you being there. I always do. Take care of yourself again. <laughs> Upward and onward.